So today I'm very proud to present the managers who will bring the case, which we have great confidence in, in terms of impeaching the president and his removal. But this further evidence insist that, and we wouldn't be in this situation had we not waited, insist that there be, that there be witnesses and that we see documentation. And now you see some of that change happening on the Senate side. I hope it does for the good of our country and to honor our Constitution. So today, on the floor, we'll pass a resolution naming the managers, as I mentioned, appropriating the funds for the trial and transmitting the articles of impeachment of the President of the United States for trying to influence a foreign government for his own personal and political benefit. Chair Adam Schiff of California, our lead manager, Chairman Schiff uh, uh, is, as you know, chair of the Permanent Select Committee <coughs> on Intelligence, is serving his 10th term in Congress. <coughs> Excuse me. Before Congress, Mr. Schiff was a California state senator and served as a federal prosecutor in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Los Angeles for six years, most notably prosecuting the first federal FBI agent ever to be indicted for espionage. <laughs> Chairman Jerry Nadler, chair of the House Judiciary Committee, is serving his 15th term in Congress. Mr. Nadler served as the top Democrat on the Judiciary Subcommittee on Constitution, Civil Rights, and Civil Liberties for 13 years. Before Congress, Mr. Nadler served in the New York State Assembly for 16 years. Wow. Chair Zoe Lofgren, Chair Zoe Lofgren, Chair of the House Committee on House Administration, which has jurisdiction over federal elections, is a senior member of the House Judiciary Committee. Ms. Lofgren is serving her 13th term in Congress. This is Chairwoman Lofgren's third impeachment. As a Judiciary Co Committee staffer in the Nixon impeachment, as a member of the Judiciary Committee on the Clinton impeachment, and now as a manager in this impeachment of President Trump. Chair Hakeem Jeffries of New York, Chairman Hakeem Jeffries is the chair of the House Democratic Caucus and is currently serving his fourth, fourth term in Congress. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, before being in Congress, he served in the Assembly of New York for six years, an accomplished litigator in private practice before running for elective office. Mr. Jeffrey, Jeffries Church for, clerked for the Honorable Howard Baer, Jr. of New York District Court for the Southern District of New York. Congresswoman Val Deming, Demings of Florida. Congresswoman Val Demings is a member of both the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence and the House Judiciary Committee. Ms. Demings serving her second term in Congress. Before Congress, Ms. Demings served as the Orlando Police Department for 27 years, part of that time as the first woman police chief in Orlando. Congressman, excuse me, Congressman Jason Crow of Colorado was a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Mr. Crow served his country, our country, bravely as an Army Ranger in Iraq and Afghanistan. Before coming, running for Congress, uh, Mr. Crow was a respected litigator in private practice in Colorado. Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia of Texas. Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Before Congress, Ms. Con Ms. Garcia was served in Texas State Senate previously. Uh, she was the director and presiding judge of the Houston Municipal System and was elected city controller. Ms. Garcia was later elected the first Hispanic and first woman to be elected in her own right to the Harris County Commissioner's Court. As you can see uh, from these uh, descriptions, uh, the emphasis is on litigators. The emphasis is on comfort level in the courtroom. The emphasis is making the strongest possible case to protect and defend our Constitution, to seek the truth for the American people. I'm very proud and honored that these seven members, distinguished members, have accepted this serious responsibility again, to protect and defend for the people defending our democracy. When we leave here a little bit later at noon, 
will go to the floor and pass the resolution uh, naming the managers officially. But I wanted to say more about them here uh, and, and to say that the decision to come down in favor of litigators is necessitated uh, by the uh, clear evidence that we should have witnesses and we should have documentation and we have to make the strongest prosecution, not only of our very strong case, but of all the information that has come forth since.